Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And some of us who have been uh, flying these Bebop drones for quite a while uh, didn't realize that something that was broken has been fixed. So this video is for those of us who are a little bit slow and haven't figured it out yet. Uh, Skip in uh, New Mexico, who is a uh, uh, becoming a Bebop flyer, <clears throat> uh, pointed this out to me. He was going through the Parrot Cloud uh, data and, you know, putting the telemetry information at the bottom of the screen. And uh, <laughs> he tried something that I've tried before and it didn't work. But apparently, in the latest app, it does. And so uh, some of you are going to say, well, I knew that. Well, some of us didn't know that. So here's what he found. We'll, we'll go to Free Flight Pro. And we'll go to My Parrot, and uh, we'll go to this latest uh, flight that I made this morning. And I did it with the Riga Bebop, and I didn't have much success. And then when I got back and tried to get the information off the Parrot Cloud, um, I couldn't get it. It never showed up, and it never showed up. And finally, it's there now, but I couldn't get it. So uh, if I would have just... Uh, click on send piloting right up here at the top. It sent me the information via my email. So it didn't used to work. Now it works. And that's going to be really helpful when we go to uh, put that telemetry information at the bottom of the screen. So anyway, let's move over to my computer, download my email, and see how to use the information that we got from the Parrot Bebop Free Flight Pro app. All right, here we are on my main computer, <clears throat> and uh, these are the two files that I, the videos that I flew this morning, and I'm going to uh, uh, go get into my email and uh, get the uh, the information from uh, from Parrot that they sent to me, and I think I've I've already been there once, but uh, yeah, there we are. So. I'll go back like this. It looks like, it looks like, uh, what does it look like? It looks like this when it comes in. And so uh, we'll go ahead and click on that. And we have a zip file to download. Okay. So I'm going to download that to our uh, Ariga Baybop file. So there's the zip file. And uh, bef uh, we'll go ahead and just save that. Okay, and uh, now we can close this, and there's our zip file. But before you go any further, we want to have a folder to work in after we've unzipped this. So go over here, and we're going to click here, and we're just going to call it New Folder. That's a good name for it. Now we'll go ahead and unzip this file, and there's the uh, the file that we are that we need to use, but. The easiest way to do this is to take this file and move it up into the new folder. Okay, so there we have it in the new folder. So we're ready to go to work here. We'll go up to Flight Data Manager, open that. Normally what we have been doing, we've been downloading from the Parrot Cloud, but we're going to import from our file that we just opened up or that we just got put together. And uh, so here it is. It's the new, uh, the new in our new folder. And normally it would come. You'd have to look around for it, but because I had to practice this once, uh, it came automatically. So there's the file. We'll go ahead and click open. And there's our data. Now then, we we can also look at the map. And everything is ready. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to export data to files. So we'll click on that and we're going to I get this every time and we don't want to look at Google Earth so we're going to say no. Alright now then we've got that taken care of and we're going to close uh, that. Here's our we go back to our new folder and there's all the data that we uh, downloaded from our uh, from uh, the uh, flight data manager. 
and I like to do this let's see let's go to um, view and we'll go um, do, 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 do. where do we go by here oh yeah we'll go to, to large icons okay so now we have everything we need and here's the I like to use feet so this is the file I'm gonna uh, import into uh, Garmin verb edit when I'm ready to put the data at the bottom of the at the bottom of the screen so that's how you go about it and uh, we <laughs> we learn I learned something today from a person who's just new to the uh, to the bebop uh, family and I'm thankful for that I'll put a link to his uh, I'll put a link to his channel and you can tell him thank you if, if you just learned this I know some of you are gonna say I already knew that I know <laughs> so so I don't like to just close like that so let's close with a little video I wanna thank you for watching and God bless